One of her biggest hits was 2015's Confident. And Demi Lovato showed that she doesn't just sing it, but she lives it. The 25 year old singer showed off her fantastic figure as she flashed under boot and toned tummy in a cropped feminist top in the October issue of Notion magazine. She also revealed that amid battling drug addictions and mental illnesses, she found herself as a role model. My fans have been able to relate and loot at me and say, if she can get through it, I can too, Lovato said. I needed that growing up and having that positive response to just being open and honest is really rewarding. The Cool for the Summer songstress was recently named one of Time magazine's 100 most influential people for her ability to connect with others through shared highs and lows. She posed for the magazine cover in many different outfits, including a sexy white crop top with the word feminist emblazoned across her chest in bold black letters. I no longer have secrets that I have to hide. It's all out there. The fact that people accept me, no matter what I've done, is really beautiful. She famously used her voice on social media after donating $250,000 toward Kesha's legal fees against Dr. Luke to then call out Taylor Swift for standing silent during the process. Fame is weird, but I manipulate it for the better," she said. I see some artists that don't say anything because they want to be politically correct. It's frustrating because they have the ability to reach millions of people and do something good rather than not saying anything. If you're a megastar and have tons of millions of followers on Instagram or Twitter. If you're not speaking about the things that need to be spoken about, you're not helping anyone. Lovato first started acting alongside Selena Gomez in Barney. Her song This Is Me for the soundtrack of the film earned her a record deal with Hollywood Records, followed by four more albums with the company, before she ventured out through her own label for her fifth. Each of her albums have entered the top five in the US and been deemed certified gold, with a new album out every two years. In the height of her drug and alcohol addiction, the singer ended up checking herself into rehab after punching a female backup dancer in the face while on tour with the Jonas Brothers in 2010. She has since toured multiple times, including the most recent Future Now tour during the summer of 2016 with Nick Jonas and recently hinted at plans for an Australian tour. Her sixth studio album, 